Hi, everybody. Uh, it's Monday, November 23rd. It's Thanksgiving week. Uh, and I, I pray uh, that you will have a blessed week and a blessed Thanksgiving uh, in the Lord. Uh, and uh, hopefully you were able to join us uh, in worship uh, yesterday, either either personally or online. Uh, and and we, we talked about this Thanksgiving thing. And, and we said, you know, giving thanks to God is not, a, is not a, like a two by four on our head. It's not a rule that we have to keep, but it's a relationship that we live in. Uh, and that it's not about getting stuff from God. It's about getting God, uh, and, and and it changes how, how we see things. We understand that it's that that the great gift is this relationship that we have in God and, and living it out in Him, uh, and, and, and thankfulness kind of, kind of springs from our soul as opposed to a, a, a rule we have to keep, a law that we have to do, a bar that we have to get over, and if we don't, somebody's going to whack us. You know, that's that that's not what it's about. It's a it's a celebration, a joyful celebration. Uh, in, in in who God is and who we are. Uh, and certainly he provides everything for us, uh, but it's not about the stuff. It's about the fact that we can do life with him. Uh, so we're going to get into that a little bit. We're, we're going to flesh that out this week. Uh, and, and the first uh, reading that I, I want to share with you is from Deuteronomy. And it's about um, the Feast of Weeks, which is uh, the, the, the Feast of First Fruits, uh, the harvest. Okay, and, and it kind of, and this is what it says. Uh, count off seven weeks from the time you begin to put the sickle to the standing grain. So first fruits offering, harvest, right? Uh, then celebrate the Feast of Weeks to the Lord your God by giving a freewill offering in proportion to the blessings the Lord your God has given you. So again, we, we uh, in this relationship with God, we, we trust him to continue to provide for us so that we can reflect his heart and mercy towards others. Um, and rejoice before the Lord your God at the place he will choose as a dwelling for his name. So it's about rejoicing, right? You, your sons and daughters, your manservants and maidservants, the Levites in your town, the aliens, the fatherless and the widows among you, living among you, everybody. You're going to rejoice. That, that's a theme throughout the worship in the Old Testament, giving thanks and rejoicing. Um, remember that you were slaves in Egypt and follow carefully these decrees. So remember... That, that you were separated, that, that, that you were slaves, that God freed you. And, and we remember the same thing, that in Jesus Christ, he frees us from our sins to live with him in this relationship. Celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles for seven days after you have gathered the produce of your threshing floor and your wine press. Be joyful at your feast. You, your sons and daughters, your men servants and maid servants, the Levites, the aliens, and the father and the widows who live in your towns. For seven days, celebrate the feast of the Lord your God at the place you will choose. So here's another one connected to, to this idea of harvest. Huh? For the Lord your God will bless you in all your harvest and in all the work of your hands, and your joy will be complete. So um, this is living out this um, the reality that we know in God. It, it's not that it's not a command to be thankful, but rather it, it's it's living out in relationship that God is a good giver of all things, and we rejoice in that. Uh, and and for the uh, you know this agrarian society, it, it focused on the idea of the first fruits, the harvest, um, and, and that um, in God's uh, loving care for us, He gives us all things. We do our we live and move and have our being in Him. We live our life in Him, and so naturally we're going to rejoice. And we're going to reflect his heart as, as we give to others. Uh, notice how uh, the, the idea of joy in all of this. Uh, uh, and and, and that's, uh, that's from where uh, this thankfulness springs up, this, this way of life, as, as a, opposed to a, a law that we have to keep. Uh, you know, uh, this, this Thanksgiving week and this Thanksgiving, um, it, it, remember uh, who keeps you and who holds you. Uh, and who you do life with, and, and let and let your heart flow from that place, uh, and rejoice. Uh, will you pray with me, um, Father? Uh, you give us yourself, uh, and you give us the gift of doing life with you. We pray, Lord, that uh, we might uh, experience this joy and live in this joy, and from that heart of joy, Thanksgiving would flow. Um, and, and Lord, show us what this means, that every day we live and move and have our being in you. This year especially, Lord, remind us uh, that, that you have poured out your, your blessings and your concern and your care for us. Uh, help us to rejoice in that uh, as one who walks in, in, in life with you. And help us also, Lord, to reflect your heart that you have for us to others. Um, we pray in your name. Amen. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow uh, on this Thanksgiving week. May God be with you.